Hey guys, my name is Nana and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing, um, I think it's called Toddler to Adult Challenge. It's basically a challenge where you make a toddler and you age them up to an adult and you see what they become, which is just as simple as it sounds. I'm a little late on the bandwagon, I know, but I really wanted to give it a try. So I went ahead and um, did this cast last weekend didn't have time to get it up but hey ho here it is tada <laughs> wanted to do a story time i feel like some of these speed video speed what on them is one of these stories that it's just something i went through and it's just ridiculous <laughs> when you think about it and quite crazy and um if this still happens today it's kind of like what i have a story that i honestly i just remembered it and i was like oh my god that happened and i don't know what made me want to share I'm how my best friend's father wanted to rape me i swear to god this story is 100 percent real literally as crazy as it sounds and i wish i could back this up with some legit evidence but that would mean that he actually had to do the deed and luckily for me he did not do that <laughs> so it all started when i was 12 i just entered high school and i made two friends these two friends are not really important to this story but i am including them because it was kind of like the start of everything club of me this new friend my best friend and the two girls were kind of out of the picture on and off i would still talk to them and i don't know it was just never working but thanks to them i met the girl with the frizzy hair which i will call as frizzy because that's the best name i can possibly give her that's not a curse word she came to our group uh in second year and she didn't really hang out with the two girls she ended up hanging out with my best friend me and the new girl so we were kind of like a tight group of four until the third year which is when we went to our directions and uh, we all went the same one which was kind of funny we all went to the same direction and uh, my best friend and the other girl ended up being in a different class than the one that i had and i ended up being in there with the frizzy girl which you know at that time we were like okay it's fine so during the time i learned that there was another girl that frizzy hair really liked and that was the short girl i'll call her short because she was just really short she was like one meter 40 something and i was 165 so she was quite on the shorter end and like once again that is the best name i can give her because all i really wish her is bad stuff <laughs> For a particular event where this frizzy girl took a diamond to school she had a pencil with a diamond one way or another we started to like discuss on how we could take the diamond off which by the way it was not a real diamond like don't get me wrong um it's bad anyway but she was claiming it to be diamond which it wasn't if she just said like oh okay you've destroyed my pencil i'll give you like you know a new pencil it'll be fine but she clearly stated and claimed it was a diamond on a pencil okay um together me and the frizzy girl like i said i was very childlike so i didn't see anything wrong with doing what i was doing i was just very simple-minded oh okay i have a pencil okay let me try to take the diamond out because i want to see if it's real uh we did this together bad choice bad choice but however after that everything went wrong for the next years so she claimed that I took the diamond out and I did it all by myself. Then the frizzy girl, uh, the short girl actually ended up telling everyone that I did it and that she had absolutely no part in that and they were kind of shunning me out and talking about me. So that was really the only thing that I ever did to them, which I want to admit to something too because I'm not a saint, obviously. That was probably the only thing I would say, okay, maybe that wasn't very clever. Fine for a while until something else happened. I never completely know what happened, but one particular occasion where she made the class like uh, rate me on a scale of one to 10 and she gave me a four, which, okay. And then I turned around and I said, well, at least I still hired you because you can't even make it past one, right? That was like my defense and then everyone's kind of laughing and then they turned around and said, why are you laughing at your own jokes? And then ever since then, the class would kind of, you know, say to me, oh, well, you're not a saint. You look, look how you treat her, blah, blah, blah. 
while in fact I was standing up for myself but nobody said anything about her behavior so it really made me confused now I'm telling you this because I feel like it adds up to what I'm going to tell you next she wanted to do some acrobatics and she asked me if I wanted to come join I was saying yes okay that's fine I remember I went there and then her um you know her parents drove me to her house and they drove me to the acrobatics and you know, I'm not flexible. I couldn't do half of what she did. So I was like, okay, like, this is not for me. Then her, you know, her dad tried to force me to stay there. He was like, yeah, we're going to have you come over. You're going to sleep here. And I was just like, no, that's not going to happen because I, I don't want to. And I was just very confused at the time. I didn't think of anything. Now I'm just like, wow, that was so creepy I called my mom and they asked her and my mom said no thank god she did because uh <laughs> i don't know what would have happened honestly went over there again and i never ever tried to do gymnastics again so flash forward to the fifth year so they would call me you know like you're a whore you're a slut a lot a lot you do this you do that and it got to the point where she would just look at me and say oh um yeah i'm gonna punch the shit out of you and I remember that everyone in the class would just like gang up around us and be like, oh yeah, she, did you hear that? She says she wants to punch you. And at this point, I was so done with it that I said, okay, let's go. Let's go outside and I'm going to punch you. Um, but it never happened because she didn't want to do it. And I really at that point wished she did because I really wanted to corner her. And uh, I never had a chance. And I would probably still like to corner her i just got a feeling that she was just like really 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 weird that everything went from worse to worse to worse and she kept calling me a whore they would literally text me on the phone and be like oh you're such a whore and text me oh slut 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 blah 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 every day we had like this dutch social media so she would go on there and write me all these nasty things send me emails uh send me you know notes blah 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 just in the hallway call me like call me a whore was pretty much like the most standard thing and it would make fun of me and laugh at me and then at one point she was texting me and she was saying yeah you know um my dad is coming to rape you and i was like mm, okay <laughs> and i was like okay and then she was saying yeah because he knows where you live and blah 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 and he would really really love to do that and he just told me that he would love to do that and like that was just like the most disturbing thing i have ever ever flipping seen and i remember telling that to my mom and we were just like like okay so i went to the headmaster again like the headmaster of the section because we had like one of the entire school and like one of the section so i went to that one and i was like look she's saying to me that her dad is coming to rape me and i don't know if it's real or not but uh this is like a serious thing like a serious threat and i was hoping that you know because of that she would get into trouble for she was spreading lies and her parents would be mad at her right because that's like the kind of thing you would do like hey i'm gonna be a snitch you said your dad was gonna rape me or gonna call your dad and have you be dispelled from school right so that never happened how it all came together but in the end it was confirmed that her dad really had said that and that he saw no problem with that and it was just like the weirdest thing ever like her dad her dad wanted to rape me like what and there is evidence of confession you know you can definitely press charges and like have her i don't know what exactly would happen but there's something to be done so i went there and then they asked me like how long ago was it and i was like well it happened you know um before the summer and um the police was like well that's too late it has to be happening now or we can not do anything with it. and i was like what like what so you're telling me if a guy before the summer says to me hey and then after after this summer i'm gonna rape you just so you know and after summer i report to the police they would be like well um it doesn't happen and uh it was set before summer so uh, unless it happens you know today uh we can help you it was just so weird right so weird and oh my god like she would also say things like, oh, um, like, I, I want to play with myself and uh, my dad's going to do this to you. My dad's going to do that to you. And I swear to you, if I still have these screenshots, I will like insert them here because, oh my God, like it was just the weirdest shit ever. 
anyway i uh, want to thank you guys so much for watching this very short and honestly a boring video and i will see you guys in the next video bye